Welcome to StackBuy. StackBuy is a very flexible collaboration platform, it is really customizable and you can customize it according to your business needs. So today we are going to see how you can create an applicant tracker for your business. So here's your stack. Within a stack there are three tables applicants, interviewers and open profiles that applicants have to apply to. Now first, we need to bring data to the applicants table. So the best way to get started is to essentially create a form. So you create an applicant tracking form and you drag and drop columns that you want to basically want an applicant to apply. So once this form is created, all you need to do is click on preview and open up the form. Now, this form can be embedded onto your website or can be shared on your website or anywhere that you are posting about this particular opportunity. So, for example, if I just add a name, select a position, and say this is the marketing manager position, I can bring my resume and add a number. So as soon as I submit this form, new row is created within the applicants table. So, this is how you manage all your applications in real time. So you can link between two tables. So here, have a link to the interviewers table. So you can select who the interviewer will be. So in this case, for example, Donald, is the interviewer. As an interviewer, you can also add, what the interview date will be. And how did the interview go and what is the status of that particular candidate? The first one has been passed. And you can also add interview notes. And add as much information as you want by expanding the cell. Now if you go to the interviewers table, you will be able to see for that particular interviewer how many applicants have been linked and what are the total number of applicants. So in this case, we've selected the lookup count. So, basically counts the number of links for that particular role. Here if I link a particular candidate, this changes in real time. And at the same time, if I just want to bring the status of each of these applicants from the applicants table, I can do a lookup as well. So in this case, I've used a lookup column type. There I've selected the applicants column that I want to look up in the column from the link rows table that I want to look up, which is a status column. For example, any new candidate has been added here automatically, the lookup brings that information in real time. Now, the same thing you can do with open profiles. So you can manage all your open profiles, the descriptions of those profiles, how much experience is needed. What are the skills needed for that particular profile? The interview and the total applicants and you can track the number of applicants for those open profiles. So this is how you can quickly create an applicant tracker. Now, you can also see how those applicants are doing by creating a status pipeline. You can convert this into a Kanban style view where you can move candidates across different stages. And you can also see it in a calendar where you can see all your interviews scheduled in a calendar format. And you can see it by month, by week, by work week, day or particular agenda. So you never miss any updates on where those applicants are going to be. You can also individually open each of those records and still change the same information as it would change on the grid and it's completely syncable. But at the same time, you can chat with your team members See the history of the record. Create a checklist of that particular candidate. And then check it off when it's done. Or even set a reminder that can send Slack or email notifications. So this is how you can track your complete applicants in a single place using Stackby. Now, once they organize all the applicants, I can filter them based on only the information that I want to see. Say if you want to filter based on the status. The status is, for example hired. So only those candidates will come about. I can see it by rejected. You can use this and create separate views for that. So what I can do is I can create a duplicate layout where I can duplicate this layout and call it say rejected candidates and in all applicants. I remove this filter, so I get to see all the applicants, but in the rejected candidates, I only see the rejected ones. So, for example, if I change this person to rejected, it will essentially show up in this particular view. 
So these views are completely syncable to each other, and that's how you'll be able to track all the different types of candidates and only see the information that you want to see using filters or even like you can hide a particular column so that you can only see the candidates and their resumes and their statuses. So this is how you can effectively create a very simple to use applicant tracker for your business and it's completely industry agnostic. So regardless of which one industry you're from, you can customize it according to your needs. Build your custom applicant tracker with Stack by today.